Hello my beautiful badges, Messi Coda back again with another asset store review. This time it is the Heroic Fantasy Creatures Full Pack Volume 1 from Protofactor over on the Unity Asset Store which is on an 80% sale during this spring sale. It's going to be on Saturday the 16th of April but right now you can also get the Monster Pack Volume 1 at a 70% sale and the Sci-Fi Characters Mega Pack Volume 2 on a 70% sale and so many other assets from Protofactor on a 50% sale. Not only Protofactor's assets but hundreds of other assets on a flash sale and other sale and just keep saying the word sell, sit back, enjoy and I'll see you all in a second. Guess what, friends? There are so many amazing sales going on Unity right now. You can get huge assets for small prices. This is one of those Heroic Fantasy Creatures Pack. Volume 1, the full pack to give it its full name, is going on an 80% sale Saturday the 16th of April. And it will be 80% from $350. It's actually one cent shy, $350. So that's a saving of $280. You'll be able to get this massive pack for just 70 bucks. And not only is the Heroic Fantasy Creatures full volume one, wow, mouthful, on sale in two days, 16th of April, 80% off, but they've also had the flash deal for the Monster Pack uh, full volume one and the Sci Fi Mega Pack volume two. So these are still under 70% off. Do not worry. There's 531 left of these and 590 left of these at the time of recording. Jump, look how many have been sold. Look at that bar. Bang! Jump on and buy them while you can. These were on 50% off. Loads of stuff on 50% off. And an anime set crowd. Oh, that's nice. Animations too, not just models. Oh, look at this guy. Sci-Fi War Veteran. He looks funky. Let's have a look at this. 50% off. I'm going to jump into the other pack, but this just caught my attention. That's 190 animations. Walk, sit, stand, dialogue, cheer, etc. Also included a bench prop for prototyping give me a bench you know what buy it just for the bench because we're not getting all of these in one demo so i'm having to throw them in one by one there's too many to go in and as you saw there that exploding golem load of rocks this is head just rolling around yes you do get animations on the exploding golem there he is you also get this the edge are going to roar look at him it's awesome. it's awesome. Stompy, stompy. You got loads of animations with each of these. Oh my word. Just want to give it a kiss, don't you? Look at that. Oh, look at the ma look at the magma. The lava that's on him. Look at that. Oh. Well, that's a view nobody wants to see, isn't it? At least it's glowing. Look at the eyeballs. Oh my word. So there are loads, loads in this pack. 30 heroic creatures in this pack. Um, so you've got um, HDRP um, or URP or built in because it's all using standard shaders. Just use the upgrade tool and it will upgrade it for you. And when I say you get loads of animations, I go over to this little fellow here and open up his. There you go. Let's find where are you? Dum dum dum. FBX files of the golem, skinned golem, and split golem. Where are we going to find your animations? Oh, here they are. Walk, turn, roar, rah. Uh, get hit, get hit heavy, death. So loads of animations here. Hit combo. Let's uh, let's see what the combo looks like. Here. Boom. Boom. Or, if you want to, there you go. Have some explosions. Kablooey! Lovely. As I say, there's loads, loads in this bag. So I'm needing to pause and throw them in one by one so we can see them all. It's going to take a while. These are the fantasy animals. Yes, that's right. Let it out. How how do your hearts content? Freaky spider. This one is my favourite. That giant rat. There's no need for a giant evil rat. Look at that. Oh, those whiskers. That's disgusting. Look at the fur on his back. Oh, he's... Oh, that looks... Oh, that is... Oh, not even words can describe what that is. Uh, very agitated snake. Again, 
a nice set of animations you get in there. I always find it's difficult to get to find a good wolf with a fur. Um, and I sit there going, oh, you know what? Fur is always difficult on the wolf. But then when you're in a game and a wolf's running up to you and sh and biting at you, you never see and go, oh, well, that, wolf, that wolf's fur looks nice, doesn't it? So, um, yeah, I, I got less to myself. I got over hung up on, on the accuracy of fur rather than the gameplay of running away from a wolf trying to nibble on you and having the performance good. Now these are for the fantasy lizards pack. Look at this fellow. He looks lovely. Reminds me of a Trandosha. Look at him. A big, 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 big hammer he's got in his hands. And his tail looks like he'll be doing damage as well. Here's a Hydra. The eyes on the Hydra, I think, is the only thing that I would change on there. But I think it's a lovely, a lovely Hydra. A very thick, solid body on that Hydra. Doesn't have that slender look to like a lizard. But talk more like the dinosaur. It's a dinosaur Hydra. And it needs a big body like that to be able to support a head. That's why some Hydras you see have got very thin necks and bobbly heads. Whereas this is more of a, actually, you know what? I'm a... I'm a dragon with no wings, but three heads. Talking about a dragon with wings, here you go. Looks, this is a wonderful dragon, and here's a wonderful wyvern. Beautiful, beautifully done, I have to say. I'd love to see if somebody can get these working with Malba's dra dragon controller and his animal controller. If you could get them hooked up. If I had a bit of patience and the time, I would actually do it this week, but I don't. I missed you, didn't I? I didn't mean to. I don't stick your tongue out of me. He is lovely. He's one of my favourite models in this entire pack. Oh, I know I said you're one of my favourite. Oh, he gets angry very easily. I mean, look at the texture on his body. It's wonderful. Beautifully done. He is awesome, this little lizard man. Oh. And um, you know, it'd be interesting if there was like you could do lizard man clothes with him and stuff as well. Okay, let's pop into it. There's so many in this pack. We've got even more to see. Okay, pause it while we pop in. I just want to point out that some of these have got so many files in, so many prefabs, I can't throw them all in. And a good example is this skeleton knight. You've got all the different parts of the skeleton, even his jaw, uh, his skull separated as well from the rip from the bottom part of it. It's, it's beautifully disgusting. It is. Uh, much like the golem was. So if I go to the demonic creatures and I go to the prefabs of the golem, you can see all the different small blocks, large blocks, animated blocks, different types of ready-made golems. You've got a lava golem, uh, you've got the ice golem, the rock golem I had in there. So there's loads that you get. Okay, loads. And I'm not going to be able to go through all of them. Well, I'm not going to be able to go for it. I said I'm not going to be able to. Don't dare you. Don't you dare try to hit me. It gets very aggressive. You see what? Beautifully. Textures are lovely. I love the, I love the magma look. And the ice, that really does feel wet and slimy from the ice on there. As a compliment. He doesn't take a compliment well. Here's the undead. Oh, that, that looks disgusting, that zombie. Putrefied. Here's the mummy. Don't know why he's, he's got his dangly. See that bit? I don't like is the dangly bits of the uh, the mummy there. I like him without. Get rid of those. Turn those off. Um, here is a mummy that's having a sleep. And actually, this sarcophagus opens up, and he's got an animation on there to open it. Uh, and as you can see inside, it does look very pretty inside as well. Texture's nicely done. Here is a knight. Here we already saw all the different parts of him. He does look minging, doesn't he? Here is uh, another skeleton here. That's chopping people's heads off. And here is a vampire. Very interesting take on the vampire. Traditional monster vampire. Right? As I say, there's so much in this pack. We've got even more to add in. The weakest so far, I have to say, is the animals, uh, not the spot spider. I love him. The the wolf, it's a nice wolf, but it's the um it's the face face on the wolf. And I've never I'm never getting out, I'm never happy really with a wolf. But as I say, with the wolves in a game, unless you are a wolf 
The only time you're going to see a wolf is when you're running away from it. So don't draw too much attention to that, I'm going to say. All right, let's pop in and add some more characters into this demo. Now, these are among my favourites. Right? Mainly because it's still within that fantasy mythology genre. Here is the Cyclops. He should be in the mythology one, I think. The Cyclops. Because after all, he is from myth. Um, here is a goblin. Not sure why his animations aren't kicking off. Hello, Gobbo! Look at that nose. Here is a hobgoblin. Now, not too sure definition of a hobgoblin, but apparently that's him. That's a kobold, which I've got no idea what a kobold is. I only know that because that's the name of the file. But I would have traditionally, I would have thought that's more of a hobgoblin. But then it looks very small and impish, doesn't it? Here is an ogre. Beautifully done. Look at that. Oh, look at that belly go. Look at my belly. Get in my belly. Here is an orc. Swipe, swiping away. And here is a troll. He's, I wonder if he got a stone version, if he can turn to stone. Oh, he doesn't like that. Let's have a look. Uh, in the trolls, no, there's only a, a PBR. That would be awesome if there was a stone version of him. But you could just change him to be grey, I suppose. And away you go. And what's up with this fellow? Where's your animations? He's got them on, um, and his controller is. Oh, he's just set there. Okay, so he hasn't got like something going swipping through all of them. That's a shame. Um, but there's a lot. As you can see, like here, there's a lot of animations. A lot of animations. Ridiculous amount of animations that you get with these. But with great power comes great responsibility. You need to configure and set up all your animations into your controllers and stuff that you're doing. It's better to have more than it is to have less, I have to say. Uh, one thing I've not checked, and I'll do that with you now, is do these have blend shapes? I've not checked that. But it'd be interesting to know. Um, straight out of the box, I would say doesn't look like we've got blend shapes on there. No, And there are standard materials on these as well. So you can you can just switch them over to be using, uh, you know, HDRP or, or UIP or stick with built in. Let's now throw some more. We're down to the last one, I think. Mythological creatures pack, and in here we've got a Chimera, a Griffin, a Harpy, a Manticore, and a Werewolf. Before popping in, I'm going to say, you know what about the Harpy that I love? That there's two versions. There's a version with the boobies out and a version with the boobies in. So if you want to have them, them exposed or not exposed, well, it's your choice. The, I've gone for the fact that I want to have them covered up because it's you know this is a family strain. There's also two versions of this Griffin. There's a two-sided uh, feathers version and a one-sided. So looking down here, I'm looking up. I can't see over there the feathers, but here looking down, I can see them. This one over here has got both sided. Now, performance wise, you know, how many are you going to have in your scene? I would actually spend the performance and have two sided. So for you, I'm going to turn you off. Do you know what? I'm going to put you back in case there's different animations out for this. Maybe no, it shouldn't be. They should be done properly the same. Yeah, they look like they're done the same. Okay, let's click play. Huge pack Chimera, Griffin, Manticores. Oh, look at that Chimera go. I always wondered how has he got the two different heads on the and there's you see different interpretations of it don't you well this is an interesting one and it is disgusting i have to say and it's beautifully well done look there's the snake on the tail as well it's different to a manticore because the manticore is just the lion's head with a scorpion um the griffin's a bit picking up set Beautifully, I mean, the Griffin's my favourite out of all of the, all, all everything in the pack now. The Griffin's my favourite. Look at it. Beautiful. Again, can we get the Griffin working with um, Malba's controller? That would be brilliant, having the Griffin. I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to get some time together. Here is the Harpy. She does not look happy. She's giving a slap about. Makes you hungry for some chicken there, doesn't it? Here's the Manticore. Lion's body human's face horns and a scorpion's tail that is just weird 
that is weird on so many different levels. I think it's done brilliantly well, though, but it's weird. And I'm not sure why the werewolf is in the mythological creatures pack, because we all know werewolves are real. Even this fellow would tell you. Werewolves are real. They're not pretend. Who knows? He does. So he's going to tell you. This is going to be on 80% sale. And if you don't manage to get it on the 80% sale, and if you miss out on the first few people, then it will be on a 70% for a little while. About 600 odd copies um, seem to be going. So get it while you can, 80% or 70% off, much like some of the other packs that I still own. A 70% sale over on the Unity Asset Store from Protofactor. And we've had Protofactor on for a live dev interview, and he was a wonderful guest, and we had a fantastic time. So if you have got a moment, well, just click on the link at the end of this video, and you can watch that live interview as well. So if you do want to see more of these videos, well, don't forget, I will be uploading them because there's so many assets on sale, and I get so many requests to cover as many videos as I can. So if you do like it, click it. Till next time. Yum, yum, yum. Oh. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell. That if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.